Hi, this is Mohit from Fager Automation. In the previous two parts, we covered how to create, edit, or simulate a program. So now in this part, we will cover how to execute a program. In order to execute a program, we, uh, we can go to auto mode, auto screen, by either pressing execute key, soft key from the bottom menu, as you can see on the bottom menu of the screen, it says execute, or we can press auto key, there is a designated key on the keyboard which says auto on it, and it will take us to automatic screen. So before I go to automatic screen, I will go to edit screen to see which was the last program we created. So I go to edit. This is the program we created in our part one and part two. Now in order to execute this program, I will press auto key on the keyboard. It opens up the automatic screen or you can call it execution screen. This shows this this screen shows us what which is the active program at this at this time. So as we can see at this time program number 777 this is active and this is the actual program on the screen. This screen also shows you your X, Y, Z coordinates depending on how many axes you have. If you have more than three axes, it will display all those axes in this area here, which shows command, actual, distance to go. Then it shows you the tool information, whatever the active tool is at this time. Your real feed rate, your spindle speed, program speed or real speed, and your cycle time. So in order for me to select the program that we were editing the last time, we can press this key which is called program being simulated. So when we press on this key or click on this key, it will bring up the program from edit mode into your auto mode. So if I click on that or press this, that program is automatically brought up in the automatic screen. That means now if we press cycle start it is ex going to execute this program there is another way of selecting a program you want to execute just by clicking on select program from the right menu you see the top one select program i press that it opens up the explorer and from the explorer you can select whichever program you want to execute so i select the program press enter now, if we do cycle start, it is going to execute this program. So it's executing it and done. So we also have the option to view the graphics while the program is being executed. So if we press on, if we press on graphics, and as you know, as we have defined the graphics in our edit mode, we can define the same way the graphics here as well. And if you recall, we define the graphics, we assume that our part is five inches long along the X and four inches along the Y axis. And the height of the block was one inch. So you can see on the graphics, our X minimum goes from zero to five, because that is along the X. Then for the Y minimum, it goes from minus four to zero. So then Z minimum minus one to zero. So this defines the part in the graphics. We say okay. And if we execute the program, it will execute your, this is the real time execution of the program and viewing on the graphics. If I press escape, it brings back to the previous screen. And now we can select single block from the bottom menu. So what that does is we can go step by step. And either you can press the single block from the bottom menu, as you can see here, or you can press the single block key, which is on the keyboard. So I press the single block. Now, if I do cycle start, after each block, it will stop. So you have to keep pressing start after each block. And once that, if you, once that is done, you can deactivate the single block and press start again. It will finish the program. 
If I hope this uh, tutorial helped you out, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. If you have any suggestions for our next tutorial, please leave a comment below. Thank you.